Hey guys, how's it going? It's Bill Moore back again with another review for those two spicy ninjas, Chris and Lauren of Spicy Ninja Sauce, located on the big island of Hawaii. Now I've reviewed several of uh, Spicy Ninja Sauce products on my channel before, so make sure you check them out. What Chris and Lauren are doing is really uh, awesome. They're growing everything uh, organically using uh, fresh ingredients grown right there locally as much as possible. Uh, so the, what they're doing is really from farm to bottle. And they are using some really awesome, unique, very, very healthy ingredients uh, in their hot sauces that you won't find anywhere else, as you'll see when I read the ingredients on this one. So from Spicy Ninja Sauce, check this one out. And this is what they are calling Biblical Burn. I just love that. Check out that label with those symbols on there. Biblical Burn from Spicy Ninja Sauce. Let me go ahead and read what it says on their website, this short story. Organic sweet potato, burdock root, cardamom, frankincense, and myrrh. Come together with yellow Peruvian chilies for a most holy experience. Fantastic medicinal qualities that aid the immune system and digestive systems operate at peak effectiveness a truly unique and gratifying experience so frankincense and myrrh uh, hence the name biblical burn right now let me go ahead and read what it says here on the side of the bottle they, they got this uh, heat level on this one rated a medium high and when they say medium high uh, this is pretty accurate it says uses a positively delightful non-denominational reaffirmation of humanity in a world gone a bit loosey-goosey yeah, it has. A boon to the body and a balm for your soul with blood cleansing and immune boosting properties for whatever test of faith you seek. And that statement is not FDA approved. <laughs> All right. Okay, spicy ninja sauce. Let me go ahead and read uh, the ingredients on this one from the bottle. So it may not include the Peruvian uh, chili pepper, yellow Peruvian peppers. Uh, as it says on the website, so the label is probably more correct. It says, naturally grown purple sweet potatoes, naturally grown peppers, ghost, Hawaiian, and Hawaiian aku, vinegar, distilled white, and apple cider, garlic, filtered water, naturally grown lime juice, naturally grown burdock root, frankincense resin, myrrh resin, cardamom, Hawaiian sea salt, organic sugar, and one more thing, groovily grown aloha. <laughs> All right. Now, just check out this beautiful color, guys. It's a, a little bit darker than what you're probably seeing on camera, but a nice, smooth, pureed up, awesome red color to this one. Biblical burn. All right. I just love their products, guys. Uh, they're really doing an awesome job with their ingredients. Like I said, you're not going to find these type of ingredients in any other hot sauce for the most part. Now, this one's got a really, really unique flavor to it. Uh, it's another one of those type of hot sauces that it doesn't all hit you all at once. It seems to be layered with some very unique flavors. It comes across as sweet and tart kind of right off the bat. Uh, it does kind of smell spicy, but then there's something unique about it when you take your time. And just kind of there in the background a little bit, there seems it's probably from the cardamom and probably from the resins of the, the frankincense and myrrh. Seems to have kind of a nice, strong uh, citrus, floral, um, uh, eucalyptic or um, camphorous type um, aroma to it. Very, very unique. Uh, earthy as well, kind of rooty, and maybe that's coming from the burdock root and the sweet potatoes. But a really nice tart, not overly sweet, but a, a tart, earthy, floral a type aroma to it that's really, really nice. All right, let's go ahead and taste it for you guys. Biblical burn. Look at that, nice and smooth. Not too thick, not too thin. All right, here we go. Wow. Now, pretty spicy. I would definitely say this is, feels like it's medium, upper medium for sure. Kind of right away, those peppers start stinging a little bit all over the mouth. But you get that nice um, flavor 
uh, kind of comes across and just, you know, as I described in the aroma, what it smelled like, it's tart, it's sweet, it's earthy. Um, it's kind of resinous in a way. Um, I've never tasted frankincense and myrrh. And another thing, those resins are usually used um, in um, oils and incenses and incense and candles and things like that that maybe you would burn. Um, but they are healthy for you. So I think it's really unique that Chris and Lauren uh, have used those resins inside a hot sauce. It is just absolutely amazing. Really, really unique. I've never tasted anything quite like this. It's fruity, it's tart, it's sweet, it's earthy, it's floral, it's delicious. Just all of that kind of combined all in one. A nice, smooth, upper-medium type heat to it. Let me show you what I did with this one, guys. I thought this would be good. I had a, a mushroom omelet, but I made it with um, um, oyster and uh, inaki, inaki mushrooms, and it was fantastic with biblical burn put on the top of it. So a very healthy omelet with a very healthy hot sauce. Um, this is a winner. Really, really delicious. Uh, heat, um, almost a five, maybe a, a strong four uh, to a low five out of ten. Uh, my one to ten scale, I think that's where I would put this one. Uh, yeah, it's probably definitely medium high for somebody who's not quite used to as much heat. But Chris and Lauren, amazing job on this one. Biblical burn. Guys, check this company out. Um, they have some fantastic flavor profiles. Check out their website and you'll see what I mean. And they also have different sections on there that list uh, the medicinal properties to the unique ingredients that they use. Their peppers and their spices and um, everything like that is all listed on the website. And some of the coolest titles and names for hot sauces that you'll ever find. So make sure you check it out. Chris and Lauren, thank you so much for sending this one. I do appreciate it. Guys, stay tuned for a lot more. And until the next time, make sure you enjoy the burn. We'll see you guys later.